Well, good morning, everyone. And I'm out in the Peak District. You'll know where I am, surely, surely. Park House Hill, Cromer. And I've come to photograph it sunrise. This is, this is beyond sunrise. <laughs> it's as flat and as, as an absolute pancake. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'm doing every second of it. What a beautiful place. I've been here once before and I think I did vlog it. Um, but I cheated because I parked right in the middle of the two hills here. Because I didn't know where to go to be honest. And uh, we come for sunset and it were blowing a gale. Today it's perfect. It is still. It is beautiful. <laughs> and I'm, look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I thought I'd come and park where you should park and really a little scouting mission, mission to see how far it is to walk. But there's an image here. I'm having this image, I'm having this, I'm having this. I know it's flat, but I'm gonna take it even if it's a reference point. It might even be better from further on up there, but at least I know now. And this is only, I've only been walking five minutes or so. Went through 57 gates. <laughs> It is absolutely beautiful. Not sure if I'm gonna go up the hill. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around for two reasons. One, um, my knee, and there's no need to put that uh, effort all on to one knee, or both knees actually. And the other thing is, heights. <laughs> it looks a little bit sketchy, um, but it looks it. So I'm actually going to walk around that left-hand side there. But there's a beautiful image here and I've got to capture it. Like I say, I think it's going to be black and white. We've not even got hardly any detail in the sky. Let me just try and show you what detail there is. Just, that, that's it, there's nothing. <laughs> there's, there's absolutely nothing. <laughs> right, I'm going to get an image from here and then we'll walk on. It's, um, this first part is beautiful. Then we've got, to, looks like we've got to, uh, we've got to drop down here, go down, traverse the, the little hill here, down through the gate there, through across, and then up. So it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Done worse. Might be a killer coming back up, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Let me get a shot. I think, I think, might be wrong, but I think I've seen a shot from here before. I'm sure of it. It's probably one of them classic ones, to be honest. But, uh, I'm still gonna get it. And then I'm gonna go and, I'm definitely gonna try and get the classic shot from the other end. That's my plan. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time because <laughs> by the time you you guys have seen this, hopefully I'd have had my knee up because it's due in another three or four weeks. So don't worry about it. Got a back catalogue that will last beyond there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, last time I had me me right knee done, which I'm still struggling with, by the way, is. Uh, it only, only knocked me about for about a month, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, <laughs> let's get this camera out. So I'm not sure if this lens is gonna be long enough. It is, it is, it is. It's absolutely flat, really is flat. <laughs> um, actually, we're getting the slightest bit of ambient light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to get park hill, on the, park hill on the left hand side, sort of, of the image. We've got the, the crow mill on the right hand side, but it's this crop of trees with the, with the walls that are running up to it that really does it for me. So I'm going to focus on them trees, which is sort of, well it's actually on the bottom right of the image. I'm, actually, I'm going to bracket the shot as well, so we'll just set it on bracket, which it's on. Um, two stops either side, just so I can try and bring 
Is there any detail out there in the sky? Some detail. Okay, shot done. <laughs> this would look super in the snow. Absolutely rubbish at the minute. <laughs> okay, I think what I'll do, I'll crack on. And hopefully, it had predicted um, the sun was out here this morning. That's just the... That's just the life of a photographer, I think. <laughs> predicted and actually happened. I think the best time to come out is when it's predicted it's absolutely rubbish. Because it's obviously not going to be absolutely rubbish. <laughs> now also, Google Maps says it's a half hour walk, so I'm going to put another 10 minutes on that. And then, obviously we're stopping vlogging and what have you. I'll put an extra 20 minutes on that. So it's an hour or so. <laughs> I've already been, well, probably 15, 20 minutes already. <laughs> I've barely come off the, over the field. We're now nearly, nearly in the middle of the two hills and we're heading towards that, that single tree there just up on the sort of halfway up. Like I say, I've been up here before many years ago actually so uh, it's uh, remembering the place as well to be honest. But yeah, that's where I'm heading. Still absolutely flat, still no light <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. So we'll crack on. I think we've got another 20 minutes walk at least, I think. And uh, a little steep bit and up through the, up to the tree there, get beyond it, look back at the, uh, the beautiful park house hill. Okay, let's crack on. <laughs> I've been walking for ages. <laughs> I've been chatting and doing. Met another photographer, that was such a nice guy. Uh, just chatting for half an hour, gives me a rest, <laughs> which is great. It's nothing strange, still flat as a pancake, still exactly the same, it doesn't look as if it's going to change all day. But first thing is, I think it's a shot from here, and it's this, this little bit of a pathway leading up to the tree, which we're going to shoot in a minute. We're going to get to the other side, where we're somewhere up here anyway, um, and we're going to get a shot walk looking back down. But there's also this, this barn, it's got a little red door on it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's just, it looked great in the snow. Um, but I just thought, oh, I'll just, just try it. So uh, that's what I've done. So a couple of images from here. Uh, 
<laughs> carry on. Uh, probably another two hours and I'll be I'll be up that 20 yards. <laughs> okay, let's crack on, let's get up that hill. I've made it. Uh, I thought the weather is not changing, so have a minute, there's no rush whatsoever. Because it's, like I say, it's still flat. It's going to stop flat. I think it's going to stop flat here forever. <laughs> uh, but at least I know roughly where I need to be if I wanted to come back and get this comp. Things to be aware of is if I go down any lower, um, the tree will be in the way of Park House Hill and it would potentially clip the horizon. If I go too far up, then Park House Hill will clip the horizon. So then probably a 10 or 15 metre up and down here is probably what you've got to work with, in my opinion. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a minute and then get the image. <laughs> it's as simple as that. What I'll do, I will go over the image with you. It's not going to be spectacular. We're not getting a lot of light. We've got a slight little bit of ambient light um, coming from somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> it's as that the sky behind me is about as dramatic as it's going to get. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the situation we're in. And I must admit, I'm loving, loving every second of it. Well worth the hour and three quarter journey here. And then the hour and three quarter walk in. <laughs> this only should take about half an hour. <laughs> okay, right. I'll have a drink and then we'll get the camera out and get the shot. Okay, let's get the camera out. Now because it's, I could potentially do it handheld. <laughs> hey, I'm in no rush, why should I? Why should I even worry about it? Get the, get the tripod out. It's supposed to have been frosted today. <laughs> that's, that's what it actually predicted, was frost. Um, <laughs> it's, it's cold, but it's not uncomfortably cold either. Okay, that's my tripod set up. We'll get it level. Uh, I could potentially work with a a wider angle as well, I would have thought, but we'll see. We'll see what we uh, see what we're up against when we get the camera. And I've just dropped the long lens on to get that little look, so I'm going to change that quickly. What's that done? Yes, 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 yes. If anything, like I say, if I go down any further. Obviously in camera it looks a bit, the tree looks a bit closer to the top of the deal in the background and Park House Hill doesn't look as dominant because we've used in such a wide angle. But uh, it's still not clipping, which is the good thing. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move over a little bit to the, to that, um, to the right hand side as well and get some, a better composition with this, this tree, try and separate the tree and the, the, um, park house still in the background a little bit better which I think will work so we'll do that we've got some more orcas walking up so I'll wait for them to go again and then we'll, we'll catch some more images Ooh, gold bum. okay so I think it works better for me here just because the trees in a better location and it, it means you can see the the left hand flank of the park house still as well so that's quite nice so what I'll do is I'll wait for these people to walk by and then we'll get the image I do think moving over that couple of yards is a better composition. Because like I say, we can see that, that left-hand flank of the park house hill now. So, and the tree's in a better place. It's in between sort of two hills. So there's a, a rolling hill to the left-hand side that you can just make out. The tree's in the middle of that, and then park house hill. And I'm putting, I've basically got the tree sort of nearly on the left-hand third. Park house hill nearly on the right-hand third maybe crop it into a square crop something like that or keep it um, as it is 
it's quite nice. So I'm going to get that. We're getting the littlest bit of detail in the sky. Littlest. And we're getting a little bit of side ambient light as well. So I'll get that. We'll just check the image. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a portrait one because, again, I think this will suit a portrait. So we can go tighter in. Something there. Refocus again. I'm going to focus on the tree. It's a third of the way in, so I'm on F11. Should be absolutely fine. We'll have a look at that. And, uh, yeah, maybe just, just clipping the left-hand side of that tree, actually. So I'm just going to have to come slightly over. There we go. This is where I wish the hydraulic screen had come out for someone with a bad back, bad knees. You know, as, as, I'm as flexible as a three by two. Okay, focus on the tree again. Get that shot. That should be quite nice, actually. We've got a nice, nice bit of, a little bit of foreground here. Leading up to tree, wall coming in from the left hand side. Jobs are good. Okay, I think now. Well, I've got to hear about half past eight, it's quarter past ten now. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start heading back and uh, maybe go a little drive around this area or go home. Get me another cheeky little shot at the end here, and it's just this barn again. I've come and walked down, I'm down on the road now, and uh, you know what? I think there's a shot here. The only problem is, I think I need the longer lens. It's a pain in the arse swap lenses. It took me what five seconds, it's not really, it's all in your mind. It might be worth all that effort. But even if you tanked, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I can see a really do see an image here. I'm going to try and get it handheld if I can. So I'll, I'll up the ISO just to give me a bit quicker shutter speed. Probably just 200. We're looking at 400. Get a yeah, about a sixtieth of a second. I'm going to put the barn on the right hand third bottom. We've got loads of sheep in the foreground. Nice and still bracketed shot. Literally getting the red door right on that cross area of the third. We'll have a look. Let's just see how sharp it is. That's nice. That's nice. Now, the problem I've got is if I come out anything, I get the sky. So that's what I'm trying to do, is cut that sky off. There we go. Yeah, if I, if I go, go in there, I'm going to have to put it on the, the top. I don't want any sky in. Right in the middle of the image. Which is not really what I want. What I might do is actually put it, might put it on the top third. Yeah, we'll put it on the top third. Now, the other thing is we've got some sheep just in front of us here. I wonder if I can incorporate one that's facing me. I'm going to try that. We'll just see how sharp the sheep is. Sharp the sheep. This is where I think I prefer to put it. Sheep sharp, sharp sheep. Background is not. Okay. <laughs> I need to just work this a little bit. You know what? I don't think the barn needs to be ultra sharp. 
but what I'm going to do is focus on the barn, focus on the sheep. I might just blend them. Today, what a beautiful day! So quiet. There's a fair few hikers in that about, but it's still beautiful and quiet. Such a quiet part of the Peak District. It's a busy area, but it's quiet. <laughs> um, all right, I'm seriously loving it. beautiful okay I've enjoyed it <laughs> I've thoroughly enjoyed this one I, I, okay the photography isn't gonna be at its best it's as simple as that but what a morning I've had big smile on my face thanks for watching I've enjoyed it see you soon <laughs>